Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing a love reading for you for August 7th through the 31st. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. Thank you to all my subscribers, commenters, watchers, and supporters. I appreciate um, all your support. And now, what do we have for Scorpio? Oh my gosh, they're flying. Unexpected choice in love. Unexpected love. Is that what's going on? Whew, sounds good, doesn't it? Um, unfortunately, you're still feeling a little um, aback. Perhaps you're unsure of this whole situation, but maybe you don't even know about it yet because this is August 7th through the 31st. You may know, you may not. Um, it looks like there's some kind of um, sneakiness, perhaps. Let's see what's going on. It could be you being sneaky. Could be the other person. Maybe there's some lies going on, some dishonesty, okay? Somewhere. Here we have this unexpected choice in love. All of a sudden, love show, somebody show, you know, I haven't had this time all night. I mean, this, I have been able to speak all night. I have not had a hard time at all. And I, ha you are my eighth reading for tonight. And all of a sudden I can't speak and the cards were just a flopping. So this is definitely the energy for you. So anyway, um, here, I just need to slow down. So maybe that's a message for you. You just need to slow down. Anyhow, these this lover's card is an unexpected um, love that comes in that isn't your type. It isn't what you expected. Um, but the the magnetic pull is so strong that you can't you go in that direction when. You, you intended to go another. You had your eye set someplace else. Okay? That's what this is. Here, we have this, you know, something is up. Something is up. I'm not quite sure what it is, but something is up. Here, we have this new partner. You know, this new, probably this new sexual partner. This is a love reading. Here, we have harmony and balance and, um... Equality, you know, where you're feeling very equal with this person. Just feeling really good. It's a really great card to have. Then we have this um, Pentacles, which is a uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Slow and steady wins the race. This is basically energy for you, I think. It could be the other person regarding this new sexual relationship. But it also could be um, to be practical. Okay, this could be energy telling you to be practical, be sensible, take your time, don't rush in, okay? Do this with grace, okay? So here we have you. This is a male or a female. This is the Father of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So, you know, we definitely could have a water sign involved with you at this time. Or this could be anybody that has a lot of... Did I say water? If I did, I meant to say earth. Anyway, earth sign that um, has a lot of earth energies. I mean, a lot of earth aspects, elements in their chart. Um here we have a Gemini um, you're worried yes you are you're absolutely worried about something you're worried about this new partnership I'm not sure what it is but this is the nine of swords this is like you know, you have been wounded by somebody. It feels like you've been wounded and you just don't trust. You're like, you know, I'm not so sure. Look at these two cards. They're both swords. Your thoughts are getting the better of you. 
You know, you might have a new partnership that could lead to a commitment, could lead to a contentment. You might meet this person as a, at a gathering, but you might um, have a chance for a new partnership, but you're feeling you have negative thoughts, definitely very negative thoughts, okay, on the situation. And <clears throat> it's too bad. It really is too bad because here... We have this lover's card where this is an unexpected choice in love. Lovers. This is the lovers. This could be real love. You know, and it's it's something that you could build a very, very nice, strong foundation with. You know, that's who th this person is. It's, but you're, you're just so negative. This is negative. This is negative. That's all there is to it. Um... This is saying to change that negativity to something bright, change it to something positive, change it to optimism and move towards it with grace, move towards it with patience and um, compassion, move towards this new partner with harmony and balance and and positive energy not negative okay because this is a new discovery this is a new partnership you know where do you want to put your energy do you want to put your energy into negative thoughts these are negative thoughts they're swords okay and swords are about thoughts it's an eight and a nine this is about sneakiness jealousy trickery deceit lies cheating this one is about pessimism resilience wounded hurt you know these are negative thoughts that's what they are. Okay? So do you put your energy into the negative thoughts or do you put it into positive? Because these are both very positive. The two of wands would be great right here because it's where do you put your energy. This is harmony, um, contentment, equality, being equal with somebody. So you got to make a choice. I can already see that. This is contentment. Um, happiness could be an engagement with a new partner. Okay? This is a commitment. <laughs> there you are <laughs> okay let's get the rest of them oh boy this one make sure you can see these all right you know Look at down here. That's towards the end of August. The worst is over. The worst is over. So whatever you've been going through, which made you feel like, I'm never going to get through this. It should, uh, for a lot of you, this won't resonate with everybody because there's so many people in the world. Okay? At the end of August, you should be feeling like the worst is over. Okay? Whatever it was. You've been trapped. It feels like you've been trapped. You've been trapped somewhere and you couldn't get out you couldn't go you couldn't do something somebody was holding you back it was causing some conflicts and some tension it was altering your um future <laughs> seriously they were holding you back it looks like and this is you and perhaps you've tried to take the escape route and you know just either you have blocked it out completely or you've buried it in alcohol or and food or and shopping or something you know you've buried the fe the fact that you've been trapped somewhere for so long that <coughs> in something else you buried it in something else maybe you've buried it in your work maybe you buried it in your home you know i'm not sure but you've buried it somewhere um in hopes of not getting hurt again um but here, it looks like you have the power to manifest whatever you need to manifest. Okay, this is a God-given gift when you have this. This says you can take back your power. All you got to do is open your eyes, because this is an awakening. Open your eyes and decide, you know, I'm, I'm going to be done with this. I'm going to be done with this. I'm going to take back my power. I'm going to take action. I'm going to move forward. Uh, maybe you're going to move forward towards an earth sign or a fire sign. But this is you, so... Yeah, let's get some clarifiers. 
this is about this is about um, power and action after conflict, after strife, after you know feeling betrayed. That's taking back your power, using your resources to move on from it, manifest something new. You're about to have a wake-up call. There's no doubt about it. You're about to have a breakthrough in your life that is going to cause you to um, start over, okay? Because here with this Ten of Swords down at the bottom, that's the end. That's rock bottom. You hit rock bottom, there's only one place to go, and that is up. And that's when you have the wake-up call because you say to yourself, you know what? I can do this. I can do this. I have the power to do this. That's your wake-up call. Whatever it is you need to do. In the meantime, you might miss an opportunity in love. You could miss an opportunity because this is now this card is now before this. So right now, you know, you may not even be accepting love that's offered to you, or you may not be seeing it, or the universe may say, You're not ready. Because you're, you're still stuck right here in negative thoughts. You have to raise your vibration with positive thoughts. But it could be you not accepting love because you're, you're feeling negative. You're feeling like stuck. You're feeling like somebody has trapped you. When the fact of the matter is, is, is you're not, nobody has trapped you. And some people don't like my tone. It's just, I, I'm not, this is who I am. I'm not going to pretend to be somebody I'm not. So, it is what it is. Um, here, you're trapped. But you're not really trapped. This is like playing the victim. You know? I think that you have some desires. I think that you have some serious desires. <clears throat> and a lot of them are sexual. A lot of them are sexual. I think a lot of them are um, addictions. I think you have, maybe there's some obsessions going on between somebody. I'm not sure with you. Because <laughs> um, it's I put that right over you. Okay. You're about to have a wake-up call. There is no doubt about it. Yep. And it should it should be very interesting, okay? Um, here we have the High Priestess. She is about intuition, following your intuition, clearly seeing the truth of a situation. That's when you have your wake-up call and you decide to use your resources, your inner resources, to prevail. You know, your strength. Your soul. You start to use your resources to prevail. And you start by following your intuition. That's your main resource. And things are going to start to change. They are. Alright. Um, I think this is about desires. You know, chasing your desires. Maybe your desires change. Because here we have this breakthrough. This is an awakening. And this is a change, okay? Maybe you decide to change something. Something that you've been addicted to or obsessed with. You decide to not do that anymore. Okay? Because this is an awakening. Maybe you decide to chase something else. I don't know. <coughs> Sometimes the devil means that you need to learn to let go. You know, sometimes it means that you need to um, learn to um, follow the dragon or whatever you want to call him whatever he is maybe you know sometimes it means you just need to do that to release I'm not saying to go out there and do something bad but sometimes you know I see that you've been doing some escaping and that's that's probably why this is here that you know you've you've been you've been uh 
escaping through addictions. That's what I'm trying to say. But I think it's time for you. You are going to have a breakthrough. You're going to have a wake-up call. And perhaps you're going to uh, fight, use your resources to fight addictions or obsessions. Here you are again because we needed to have you twice. It's true. Oh my goodness. There is definitely something going on where things are out of balance. Things are out of balance. Things There's some overindulging going. There's a need for moderation. You have the card twice. There's a need for moderation in your life. And that's where the breakthrough comes in. The universe says, okay, it's time for a change. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. There you are again, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, you know, you, this, you never go with the flow. Once you set yourself a goal, you can stick to it. It is up to you, okay? You do have the resources to stick to your goal. It's about, this is saying to bring back your discipline, okay? Bring back your willpower. Mm. Crying over the past. Yep, because we got this, this pile of shit up here. Um, <laughs> that's why you've been living in escape world, or dream world, or fantasy land, or whatever it is. <clears throat> because... You know, it feels like maybe the past year or the past five years or there's been a period of time where, you know, you haven't been happy. Things haven't been good. And it feels like you have been moping over it. Moping, moping, moping. Now, maybe it's five months. I think it's the past year, though. I do. I think it's the past year. Past year has been rough. And I think you're, that's what I mean. You're still crying over it. You're still, it's not that you're crying per se crying. I mean, it's still hurtful. It's still there. It's not healed. <laughs> and so the best way to get through that is to escape. You know, and how do you escape? Through overindulgence in something. I mean, yeah. So, let's get some of these love cards. Angel romance cards for Sagittarius. <clears throat> so, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in this reading. We have Capricorn. We have <coughs> Gemini. We have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I'm not sure. I think I already told you that. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. These this lovers that's coming in could eventually lead to a marriage. Should you not be so negative and scared based on your past experiences, you could miss the opportunity. Okay? Attraction. You are very attractive at this time. You are. You are. People are drawn to you. I think that you are sending off um, high vibrations for, you know, lust or whatever you want to call it. Um, I think you are. So, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so this is saying that to remember, if you're not doing that, then this is advice for you. <clears throat> Make yourself more attractive when you go out, if you're not doing that. Okay, the thing is, is down here when you're moping, you're not. You're not. So that's why this is here. Because... If you're moping, you aren't attracting that person. That's exactly what it is. Let your friends help you. Okay? 
So this is about when you're lonely or, you know, if you have addictions and, you know, you need some help to get through them. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others, friends or family. Let them help you to get through this so that you can go through your time of healing. Okay? Do not be afraid to ask for and accept help from others. I have to give you the messages that they give to me. It's just the way it is. This isn't, it isn't a beautiful, lovely reading, but I think that you, I think this is a great reading, put it that way. This, I got a new deck, and I'm going to share it with you. I have everybody out so far. I'm going to give you one card, Vintage Wisdom Oracle Deck. I will have to read out of the book. Like I said, it's a new deck, but it seems to be going very well for everybody else. You do have a chance for love. But you have to get over something first. It's anything that, you know, some kind of lies in the past, I think, or, or trickery or deceit. There's something that, that has left you wounded and hurt and untrusting. Okay, and I think you might play the victim every once in a while. Or you might be playing the victim right now. You know, you're not trapped. You're not trapped in a situation. You can free yourself whenever you are ready. There's no reason to cry. There's no reason to cry over spilt milk. Whatever's happened has happened. Just spread your rings and fly away. You have the resources. You have them. And you're about to have a major awakening. Okay? One card's coming right now. Wisdom. Beautiful. <laughs> wisdom the last rays of the setting sun fall on this portrayal of mythic athena the greeteth the greek goddess of wisdom and her wise protector the little owl a stealthy knight as stealthy knight hunters owls are revered as powerful totems they have the ability to see things others miss, coupled with an acute sense of instinct. In ancient Greek, Greek mythology, Athena was said to have a blind side on which the owl would sit, enabling her to see the whole truth. Oh, that's beautiful. She wears a rose, symbolic, symbol, symbolic of love and the marriage between love and truth. After all, without love, there can be no wisdom. By drawing this card, I don't know if you can see it. By drawing this card, you are invited to contemplate the far-ranging consequences of important decisions. This is perfect. Perfect negative versus positive. Athena calls you to reflect upon valuable insights gained from your life experiences and to decipher truth from half-truth. That is right here. Absolutely. Wisdom is earned through the human experience of trial and error, and by trusting your inner voice over the voice of others. The willingness to learn from experience and be objective about the mistakes of the past reveals the mighty value of wisdom. A clever mind can be an asset or an enemy, but is by no means a measure of wisdom or spiritual intelligence. There is a world of difference between the two. In the, worlds of, in the words of Sandra Carey, never mistake knowledge for wisdom. One helps you make a living, the other helps you make a life. Never mistake knowledge for wisdom. One helps you make a living, and the other helps you make a life. If you find yourself in a predicament, Athena reminds you to use wisdom to quiet the mind and shine a light on that which needs to be seen. So 
So Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading, and please don't take any of this personally. I have to say what I am told to say, and I say it in my own words as best I know fit. Okay? So don't take anything personally about my tone or anything like that. I'm, I, when I do my readings, I say things as they are meant to be said. Okay? So I will talk to you soon.